Hey, this is Ben with Pro Sound Communications coming to you live again from NAMM Show 2011. I'm here with uh, one of the extraordinary guitarists, Jeff Coleman. Hello Jeff, there. you do a lot of playing here. I know you were just in uh, Japan with uh, another one of our artists. Uh, see you in the magazines and things like that. Playing with the Bombastic Meat Bats. Yeah. Chad Smith. Man, what about the pedals uh, are you liking? Which ones are you using and, and what's working for you? You know, well, come with me. <laughs> Let me show you what I use. When I first uh, was introduced to Exotic, uh, I started out with the AC and the RC booster. And the thing I really dug about, uh, you know, I grew up with tube streamers and that sort of thing, but when I started using the AC boost, it just seemed like it was so much more richer and fuller and diverse of a pedal with my Strat. And then I got into using the RC booster, and the beautiful thing about that is, for me, it, it compresses my sound without actually hearing compression. It just makes you, fattens the tone up and makes you play better, easier to play. And I've also found that I have a world kind of fusion group and I play a lot of nylon string. And I'll use that pedal for a boost. Take the gain all the way down, back the treble a little bit, boost the volume. And it's the most gorgeous sound on my nylon string for like the Earl Clue thing. So uh, I can get the full on Earl Clue lead tone. And you know, when you're playing live, for me, I don't play pick that hard, especially a nylon string for technique and you know, the El Dimiola fast passages. I need something like that to kind of help bring me over the band, you know, so it cuts through. So that pedal alone is like a godsend. Um, I got, I used the stereo chorus. I got the fuzzy drive I'm using. I don't have it on my pedal board yet because my pedal board is getting as like, big as Eric Johnson's now. Um, the EP boost, right now I'm using it in, a, in the effects loop of my amp. And when I when I turn it on and boost it, my guitar tone goes from like a like a hard rock lead tone to like an Eric Johnson will round it off. It's it's interesting what happens. I've got the dip switches set on the vintage setting, and when I hit that pedal with it all the way down, it just boosts my volume at the right volume for solos, and it takes the mid range into all the frequency spectrum. I just discovered this like three days ago and I was like wow this is great because I got online checked out Alan Hines I didn't know I thought man I wonder if there's switches in this thing then I got it my pedal board out you know so I love it uh, got the custom shop BB free I love it all you guys' stuff is fantastic Toshio just sent me the AC car and in yeah, every position of this is like a whole different menu <laughs> So you get a lot of bang for the buck. I love exotic. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, this is the first time in history an artist has commandeered the camera with such enthusiasm for our products. I really appreciate oh, that. Cool. You know, yeah. uh, you, you can't get a better endorsement than that, guys. There you go. So, yeah. And we're playing tonight, the Meat Bass Sabian Show. Great, great. We played last night at the Grove. Chad destroyed the drum set. I mean, my whole guitar rig almost got totally crashed into. He just, he let it happen. I let him pay for it, you know. Well, what, what can we expect from you guys in 2011? What's the plan? Well, we just released a record, and it's doing really well. I still call them records because I was born, you know, before the 70s. It's like everybody calls it a Xerox machine. And uh, <laughs> it's it, it broke, like, top 10 in iTunes, and it broke uh, top 25 in Billboard. Excellent. Fantastic for an instrumental, like, you know, Jeff Beck, Billy Preston wannabe funk rock fusion yeah. group. It's great. And uh, we just we have a double live record that we're going to release later in the year. It's in the can. Uh, we're going to do some shows with Chad while we can nail him down. He's done with his Chili Peppers drum tracks, and so we're not going to. Red Hot Chili Peppers? I'm not familiar. They're this little band. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get him to you know just spend his time full time with us because I think financially. It'd be uh, you know uh, more profitable to just do meat bats and that other side project, chicken foot. Forget those guys. It should be the meat bats only. Well, we're here to build the Jeff Coleman experience. Yeah, <laughs> I just did a solo record. Uh, it's available. I'm singing, playing guitar, it's heavy, epic, you know. Time. Yeah. But still showcasing like a, you know a lot of hard rock rhythm and yep. you know not just a bunch of shredding. I like, I like hard. half of what I always loved about Eddie Van Halen besides the ripping 20 second solo. It's just the the riff, man, the rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm guitar. Yeah. These guitar shredders gotta go back to playing rhythm. 
Or do you, are you guys planning on uh, doing any East Coast or staying on the West Coast? You know what? Uh, we're going to do some. East, we just did some East Coast dates. We did three nights sold out at the Iridium in New York. Great. Excellent. So we're going to get back out there in the springtime. Play your respects to Les Paul, I guess, while you were there? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So well, we certainly, again, appreciate your enthusiasm for the product. Uh, Tosho speaks very, very highly he's, of he's you, wonderful. and, and uh, we, we welcome you to the exotic family. Thank you. Cheers. Here we are with Jeff Coleman. Please oh, check yeah. him out. Jeff, by the way, if they want to come see you guys as far as uh, 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 your band or your personal website, where do they need to go? Uh, you can go to uh, bombasticmeatbats.com. I believe we have a .com. Maybe we don't. <laughs> Facebook. There's also jeffcoleman.com. And then I have another group called Cosmo Squad, cosmosquad.com. And, uh, yeah, and we're actually doing a new record. You got too many squad. irons in the fire, I man. I got, it's like four bands and you're going like this all the time. <laughs> Well, the juggling Jeff Coleman. Check him out. This has been with Pro Sound TV. See you later.